Hey everybody, how are you doing? Uh, this is Alice's Restaurant, the Arlo Guthrie Tuna. I'm going to show you two versions, both a little simpler than what he does, but uh, I think it makes it a little bit more playable, okay? So let me play the first version and I'll show you how to do it and then I'll show you the sort of upgrade to the second version. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so first things first, the chords. C, A7, either like this, or he's going to do a big reach like this, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then D7. Now I'm playing what's called a, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. D7, then G, and then C. So it's C, A, C, C, A7. D7, G to C, again, C, C, A7, D7, G, D, G, C, 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 C7, F, D7, C, then to A7, D7, G, C. Okay, so let me get a little closer here. Move the camera in a little bit. So we start off with this little, kind of like black, let's see if I can show you what I'm doing. So I'm playing the sixth string on the third fret, open B string, then first fret on the B string, open A string, and then second fret on the A string, which is a B note, and then third fret on the B string. That's your walk in. Okay. And then we're going to go. So that's a C. Now, what's going on here is our thumb, and you should be able to finger pick a little bit before you try this, otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So our thumb is going back and forth between the fifth string and fourth string. Like for the C chord. So you go C. Again, how can I get this so you can see everything? Yeah, we'll try it. There we go. Now, in order to make that reach possible, I'm reaching out to the fourth fret here on the B string. What I do is I play my C with just these two fingers. Okay, so that makes that reach much easier because we don't really need that first fret at the beginning of the song. So we go. So again, I'm pinching the first and the fifth, then thumb on the fourth, and pinch the B string on the fourth fret with the fifth string on the third fret. And then first string right away with the fingers. And then I go to the A. Now on the A, I'm really just fingering the second fret on the D string. Because my thumb is still doing the fifth and fourth strings. And I go reach out to the fifth fret. If you can't do that, try putting a capo on third, fourth, fifth fret to make the reach a little bit easier. So I'm going. So when I'm hitting that fifth string, what am I hitting? I'm hitting that D string, second fret. And then I come down to the third fret on the first string. Again, pinching with the open A, and then open E, followed by the thumb on the D string. So that lick is slowly.
And then for the D chord, I'm playing what I call it, what's called a D over F sharp. I've got the second fret on the low E string, third fret on the B string, second fret on the A string. So that's the shape. And I'm playing the low E and the second string together. And then I play the high E string open. Thumb hits the D. And then G, high and low. Open E string, high E I should say. Thumb on the D. And then back to the C, fifth and first. And you do the walk in. All together we've got this. Sorry. Now we're going to this D over F sharp and this is the lick. Second string and sixth string together, then fourth and first together. So two pinches, and then pinch again on the second and sixth, then first and then fourth. So and then I go G. So when I come down to that fifth fret on the G, I'm playing the first and third. When I come to the 5th fret, I'm playing either the G string open or the D string open. Can't do it today. And then back to the 3rd fret on the 1st. So that G lick is... And then we're back to a regular C. these three, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, third string, fourth fret. So all pinches, I'm pinching the A string, fifth and the third. And that's the, the D string and the open B. And then back to that D over F sharp. So, again, I'm playing that chord with the 2nd fret on the low E, 2nd fret on the G string, middle two fingers, and then open B, and then back to the opening lick. thing through once slowly and then I'll show you the sort of upgrade. the upgrade. On the C and the A chord, we're going to start playing this bass. So three notes going in that bass. <clears throat> Excuse me, fifth string, third string. Then I come over to the low E and I bring this ring finger over to get the third fret on the low E, e string. And then I come back to the D string second fret. So it's
and I should mention I'm playing my C like this instead of like this so I can make that reach. And then on the A, I'm doing the same thing. So my thumb is going A string, D string, low E string, D string. And these are all the same. thumb is on the, the sixth string and the fourth string and you're going to pinch the G string and the low E string together then open B so you're going to take that bar finger off and playing the D string at the same time on the third fret and I put the finger back on second string again first fret carefully the first time so that D is that's actually what they call a D seventh over F sharp which I think we've talked about before but an easy way to find that chord is play an A minor and then take this finger and move it over to here and then you're back to the beginning Okay, so let me play the whole thing once with and without upgrades. So I'll play it twice through, once simply, once not so simply. seat.